it's click on this on this C ladder basically to clear the terminal. Watch this out. Bam, gone. <laughs> Quite cool, huh? So solo is a package for Laravel um, to run multiple commands at once. It's supposed to aid local development. After installing, you can open the, the solo service provider to add or remove commands. Okay, so it's customizable through this uh, solo service provider. So let's go to the installation. Uh, Composer require Aaron Francis slash solo dash dash dev. Okay, so let's start by that. And it was quite easy to install. And something I always look when I'm installing packages is how much is bringing to the vendor. And I can see that we don't have a lot. So we have literally Joe Tannenbaum, uh, his Chew package, which is literally something that exists for the console. And nothing else, basically. So just one dependency, which is quite cool. Okay, so the second thing is install the service provider, which we can do by running PHP Artisan solo install so i'm going to do that and i can see that now we have this solo service provider and that got installed successfully in in theory i can already run php artisan solo uh and i'm going to do that actually so i'm going to type php artisan solo and i want to see the feedback on the console i believe that this is like a ui for the console so i make it i'm going to make it bigger wow okay this is like a full ui interesting Oh, actually, I'm moving. So you see, you guys see like these tabs, like logs, vit, about, Q, uh, and everything. I'm literally moving with my arrows off my keyboard, which is quite quite cool to to, to do, huh? <laughs> what I will do now, I think, it's click on S to see how it goes. Interesting. The 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 S keyword thing allows me to start and stop this given service. So let's try to do something. Let's start with the logs tab maybe and log something to the console. Okay. For example, hello world. So if I do this, after four seconds, I see a new one appearing right here. Nice, nice. This is interesting, huh? So now if I want to clear like my terminal, the only thing I have to do is click on this on this C ladder, basically, to clear the terminal. Watch this out. Bam, gone. <laughs> Quite cool, huh? Interesting, huh? So I'm going to stop. I want to try this one, the pause thing. So I click on P. Oh, I think when I pause, basically the scroll doesn't follow me, I think. Oh, okay. So if I click on F. Oh, I see. So, okay, basically, if I click on pause... Basically, the scroll will pause and basically I will be like on the exact place I am. But if I click on F to follow, I will be at the end of the tail. Okay, this is cool. Okay, this is cool. You guys cannot say that it's not cool. Okay, this is amazing. Okay, what do you guys think? Cool or not cool? Cool, cool. What is Q now? Okay, let's run Qs. Cool, they are running. Okay, let's go like PHP artisan make job. say hello to stream for example okay cool let's try something all right i'm gonna run it like just regular you know like this so clear my terminal go here php artisan stream this should run just once there we go now we get it just once and if i go to my logs i see it just once yeah oh apparently the logs also present a different you know a different thing if it is a problem okay let's go here and try and instead of you know having that queue job let's type throw new exception for example okay okay this we don't get doing a tail though interesting so we have this on red and then we have a stack trace and then we have the vendor frames interesting Oh, we also have stuff like Pint, for example. Interesting. So let's see what Pint is about. So if I type PHP Artisan Solo, I now have a Pint tab. I can go there and I can literally start. I, I think it's not working because this should be actually vendor bin. Let me try this. How about now? Haha, now it's working, huh? <laughs> I need to fix this for, for uh, Aaron Francis. By the way, let's do that real quick. So let's go here. 
some of the developers, most of them. So I'm going to go here to source, uh, pa -pa -pa, commands, providers, support, stubs, perhaps. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fork the repo. Yes, yes, yes. And basically say to Aaron Francis that this should be instead this little thing. Fixes, pint command, propose changes, create the pull request, uh, fix by command. So, okay, create pull request. And yeah, we just did our first pull request on stream. That was nice. So someone on the chat, someone on the chat wanted to basically see if we can have passed into this. So first of all, let's quit this stuff and see if we can run vendor bean passed, for example. So we can, okay? We can. So in theory, you know, in theory, the only thing I can think of is that I can just go here and type this. So we have passed at the end, got you, and I can click on S from start right here. And yeah, I see, I do see without coloring though. Oh, I think in, I think it's colors always or, or something. Let me try again. There we go. <laughs> we have our test suite running on solo. It's not this funny. Oh my God, hilarious. Like to be precise, we can probably have something a little bit more generic like PHP artisan test. And then this would work with PHP unit and, and you know, and, um, and past. So if I do this, solo, tasks, start, there we go. <laughs> All right, Kali is saying uh, new pull request. Duke Ten is saying new pull request. All right, folks, let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm going to click on source, stubs, solo prov uh, service provider. All right, folks, so I just added the task thing. I'm going to click on commit. Add, uh, what do I want to do? Add uh, tasks tab on solo. Okay. So create pull request. And now we have a new pull request made to solo. By the way, thanks chat for, you know, for the suggestion of basically having this tasks tab right here. 